Dwellers in Silence Twenty years had passed since the last of the giant migration ships had crashed to the surface of Mars, burying its pitiful handful of survivors of the Earth wars. <coughs> Twenty years of scratching the stubborn Martian soil. Twenty years of trying to devise new solar engines would use the strange fuel they found on Mars. Twenty years of longing, of turning eyes toward the green Earth as it hung on the horizon like beckoning lights. Now it was done. For the first time, new ship built the shining Martian commotion had lifted bravely towards home with three men locked in a metal valley. Would they return to Earth made barren by cosmic dust to blacken their radioactive hells? Or would they find intelligence to alive on a scrounged uh, planet? What had twenty years of death and radioactivity done to our beloved Earth? Spacecraft alarm horn wailed briefly. Evans, that's it, Captain. We've interest in intersected the vocal course vector. Captain Williams? Williams, off, yes, sir. Captain, prepare for deceleration. Williams, off. Forward fusion, ready, Captain. Captain Reader, Evans? Evans, we have entered the gravitational field of the Earth. Exactly ten seconds, eight, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Captain, overlap with above. Fire, two and four. Two rockets fire. Williams, off. Two and four. Captain, what's our momentum? Evans? Evans, negative three. Captain, fire one. Rocket fires. Williams, off. One. Evans, negative four. Now. Captain, steady as she goes. Hey, beat to Evans. How are we? Evans, on para- parable now. We can hold. We could breach the heavy side layer somewhere north of what used to be Metamuck. Captain, let's have a look at her. Phaser, please. Williams, closer now. Yes, sir. Click a switch. Evans, speak warmly. Mother Earth. Captain, move slowly. Twenty years we got, we're got. we going home, Evans. We're going home. Raven, sharply. Home to what, Captain? Home to a burnt-out radioactive planet is incapable of supporting human life. Captain Evans and I don't agree with that. Williams, do you think the Earth is ready for us again? As you'll give us another chance. Williams, I'm sorry, Captain. I was born and brought up on Mars under the new good central government. We younger men disagree with what you about the migration back to Earth. For us, Mars is home. Captain, well, we'll see. Evans, there is some form of life on Earth. We'll find out soon enough. Captain, fortuitously. Williams, head for New York. Evans, there, there it is, Captain. You can barely see the top of the atomic trays building, the twilight. They never finished building it. Captain, dark as the doom, tomb. Speed in order. Slow to cruising speed. Buzz, buzz, and buzz of sound. Slip slows. Williams off. Cruising speed. Evans, it begins to look as if Williams is right. Captain, not a sign of life on the four continents. Captain's courage. Ah, oh, we'll make a radiation check. Then head back to for Mars. Williams off smug. So do you agree with me, gentlemen, that for all physical practical purposes the planet is dead. Captain annoyed, it shall it's still my Evans interrupts Captain. Captain, what is it? Evans I've got it's going uh, am I going at my end? Look look at that way, to the west. Could that be Captain by heavens? It's it those are lights. Turn the ship. Buzz buzzer buzzer t- turns. Williams heading north, west, southwest, cutting full speed. High pitch buzz of another buzzer. High ship speeds up. Williams full speed. Evans, there are the lights, Captain. It's a city, whole blasted city, lit up like a Christmas tree, triumphantly. Well, what do you think of your dead planet now, Williams? Williams off archery. We shall see, Evans. Remember the com- commission was evidence of life. As we know it, Captain, to accelerate a neg- to a negative five, we're going to take her down. There's an open area 
just on the edge of the city. Williams off, yes, sir. Captain, hold on, gentlemen. We're about to land. Danny gear lowers. Williams, landing jacks down, down sir. Captain, open the airlock. Airlock unlocks. Inner door slides open. Astronaut steps into the airlock. Slight echo on voices. Captain, close. Inner door slides shut. Captain, all right, gentlemen. Before we go out, security all time. Williams, you have your blast gun? Williams, I have it. Captain, if anyone becomes separated, fire a shot. Make for the ship. How's the radiation, Evans? Evans, safe enough so far. It seems to be a light area. Captain, very well. Open the lock. Add the door and locks and slide open. The Jewish bridge. Eerie wind howls. Astronaut steps in steps as they walk down the street. Evans is Oh, it's unbelievable. We've been walking for, for hours now. And not a soul to be seen. Captain, it must be someone. How do you explain the lights? Evans, I don't know. Read the sign. Municipal building. Captain, shall we have a look here? Sir, probably fuzzy rebels might contain some clues. Captain, good idea. Keep your weapons ready. Astronauts walk up the street to the building. Door opens, Captain. Hmm, this door is good working order. Almost as if it been oiled recently. Door closes. Astronauts walk through the building. Slight echo of voices. Captain, long corridor. Lights blazing in every office. Will you stand watch in the corridor? Fire am last, if you need to. Where's this, sir? Captain Evans, you come with me. We'll start right here with the city's clerk's office. Ah, better check radiation again. Four major clicks of radiation detector. Evans, not enough to do any damage. Office door opens. Astronaut steps in the office. Captain, give you, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? Office door closes. A few more steps behind, Captain. Look at this desk. Papers crumbled. Instinct. Instinct. Stand. Just as if someone came in. I work here every day. Canada. Reads June 18th, 1987. Evans. Why, that's the day of the excavation. The dust clouds had already blank, blanked New York and it was heading west. Shuffle papers on the desk. Captain. Dog lights as it's panting on the permits. Somehow, I have a peculiar feeling about that. Phone rings. Evans, stone. Good Lord, Captain. Pick up, Evans. Receiver up. Evans, it's in the phone. Hello? No answer. In the phone? Hello? Speak, Captain. I hear something. A scratching sort of noise. Half away, unfilter, friendly. Good day, Doctor. Evans, start who? Half away, unfilter. How are you? I called to ask. Some advice about t- the transparent problem. Can you tell me the literal cut should be made first? Evans into the phone. Hello, hello. Back to Beach Captain. This is absolutely insane. Into the phone. Hello. Now have a way. Into filter. Officer. Thank you, Doctor. I'll do that. By the way, how's your wife? Alice. How's your, how's your son, John? Fine boy, John. I'll call again tomorrow. Goodbye, Doctor. Phone is disconnected. Evans in the phone. Hello, hello. Rattle of the cradle. Receiver down. Evans, it's gone dead. Captain, who was it? Evans, I don't know. A strange voice carried on a conversation about, about some surgical operation, without paying the slightest attention to anything I'd said. Suddenly tense. Captain, the lights are out. Captain, good Lord. Distant blast of drum blast gun. Williams calls for them off. Captain, Captain. Captain, urgent to Evans. Light the torch, come on. Hurried steps to the office door, which opens. Steps in the corridor. Captain calls Williams. What is it? Williams, I don't know. Office door opens. Closes. Hurried steps to Williams. Captain, you try the shot. Williams, closer now. Yes, sir, just as the lights went out. I was sure I saw a figure. It looked like an old man in a white robe. It moved across the end of the corridor, down that way. Captain, flash your torch down there, Evans. Nothing, nothing there. You're only certain, Williams. Williams are not, are not certain. The lights, 
They're on again. Captain determined. We've got to get to the bottom of this. If Evans low, urgent. Wait, wait. Hathaway's slow, echoing footsteps approach. Agile voices are hushed. Captain, what? Evans listened quietly. Someone is coming. Walking slowly toward the corridor. Captain, they're coming closer. Cover him when he turns the corner. Williams, it'll be my pleasure. Captain, don't fire unless I give you the word. Few slow echoing footsteps. Fill a brief tense as fills. Then, Williams grasps. What the? Captain, astonished, jumping in Jupiter. Halfway. Are you, are you, is that really someone, or am I having illusions? Captain, reassuring. No, we know, Vision. Have a way of approaching. No, no, you seem to be real. I saw your ship come down. I thought perhaps I'm losing my mind. I've been here so many years. Beyond above, to have a way his footsteps stop. Captain, I'm Captain John Fro- Parsons. These are my assistants, Dr. Evans and Mr. Williams. We turned to Earth from Mars. Have a way it sails slowly. Mostly overcome. Then it happened. We're not alone anymore. Figure with me, gentlemen. If I am more... If I had seen move, I did. I waited and hoped for much so long. Captain, you survived the radiation. Have we? We did. We did. Captain, the others? My family were the only ones. Evans, I answered the phone a moment ago. Who was it? You heard a voice, Doctor? Have we heard a voice, Doctor? Evans, a voice? Have we to break the loneliness? I recorded my voice to ring a automatic telephone. It's a pleasure to hear the phone ring. Chuckles, I come here to do my work. Evans, I take it from you're a medical man. My Hathaway, my name is Claudius Hathaway. Captain, we have uh, realised it's happening. Hathaway, the brain surgeon? Hathaway, you really look surprised. You know my name? Captain, do you do? who doesn't? I watched you intelligent at college. You saw you 23 years ago. You performed a difficult surgery of cerebral Bull tumour, marvellous. Have a please, thank you. I must have forgotten my mind, you see. I'm almost slightly now. Captain, you look fine, sir. Have we? Well, we had the best of it, everything. It's an entire city you choose from. Cold storage, the best equipment. Oh, but come, here's a fine dinner waiting for you. And you, I want you to meet my family. When I saw your ship, I told Lannis, oh, my wife, you know, prepare a feast. There's a great day for me, gentlemen, a great, great day. Hefe, this is my wife, gentlemen. Alice, this is called Tomb Pro- Parsons, Dr. Evans, and Dr. Mr. Williams. Kevin, how do you do, Mrs. Hathaway? Alice, how do you do? Hathaway, now uh, is it if it's you? Now, if you follow me, gentlemen, we we'll meet we we'll meet my children. Captain, low to the heavens, that Lord, what a beautiful woman! Evans, low to Captain, she looks no more than thirty-five. Hathaway, these are my daughters, Susan and Maria. This is my son John. Exchanges, greetings, exchange. How are you? Nice to meet you, etc. Hathaway, all oh, sit down, gentlemen, sit down, chuckles. We have a, a feast to honour this occasion. Susan Malagrette, get the best supperware and silverware and a dust napkin. John, fetch the glasses. John, yes, Father. I have only. It don't take me. Take it. It'll take me. May take me, Captain. No excuse. No excuse me, John. John, sir. Captain, how old are you? John, simply twenty-three, sir. Captain, thinking. John, moving off. Now, if I can excuse me, Evans, what is it, Captain? Something wrong? Captain Lowe, nothing except that this isn't really impossible. You see, Dr. Halfway's son was already in college when I started. That would make him at least 45. The Marley Perfect Bridge, sound, click of certain upperware, dinnerware. Captain sells heartily. This is a wonderful meal. Miss Halfway, to Miss to Halfway, Doctor. Your wife is an exceptional woman. Have we? Chuckles. Thank you, sir. Alice, would, how would you gentlemen like some fresh gingerbread with your coffee? I baked it this morning. Kept it mm, wonderful. Sniffs briefly. 
It's all that, Evan. Evans is always like coming home. Miss Hathaway, Hathaway chuckles. Alice, we enjoy you. We enjoy having you here. Captain, Miss Hathaway, may I always compliment on how you're having preserved your youth and beauty as well? Alice awkward pause. Thank you. We have had no worries here. No competition. Only the things we need are material comfort. Evans, Mr. F- ah, Parsons, I was consider- wondering, Dr. Hathaway, if the radioactivity has any effect in preferring tissue. The children all look as young, so young too. Hathaway and Comfortably, it's, uh, it's possible, gentlemen. Of course, radiation dose strange strange things to living tissue. Abruptly changes the subject. Alice, could you, we have some champagne? Alice, moving off, of course. It's only a aluminium moment. Cut in low, an amazing woman. Did you see? Did you? Oh, did you ever oversee such grace and complex relaxation? Evans, low. Don't look. Doesn't seem that quite natural. Have I? I beg your pardon, gentlemen. Evans, gentlemen, Captain Parsons was just about to ask how you and your family managed to escape, Doctor Hathaway. Have we? We are very fortunate. I was working in the Sierra Mountains. At the time, I had a lead laser laboratory where I had x ray research on my pet project. Evans, what was that, sir? Have I to study machines as they locate, relate to human function, and to coronary, of course. Charles of Uncomfortable resumes with Costo. Well, to continue, when the dust cloud covered America, we remained in the laboratory. Well, the supplies of food and water. Later, when the radiation permitted, we made our way back, back to our old house. It did in the hope we'd find some flowers in some other survivors. By the time every living creature had been evacuated to Mars, we were stranded. Migration ships didn't want wait for stragglers. That's true, Captain, that's true. My father and I were the last the rocket out of New York. Have we? Always oh, loved this old house. The loneliness of those five years. Captain, at least you had your wife and children. Have we slowly? Yes, quicker. Yes, I had my family. If it were not for them, gentlemen, I assure you, I have long ago have put my bullet into my head. Alice returned cheerfully. Here we are, as astronauts. Is hell happily. Hey, champagne, Captain? Drinks for fours. Can okay, no, I thank you, Miss Hathaway. May I propose a toast? Hathaway, oh, let me, oh, let me grant you a toast. Gentlemen to Earth, Captain to Earth. Hathaway, Earth, may she never be a stranger to man again. Glass and pain. Glass drop. Captain Hathaway, what is it? Hathaway in great pain. Nothing really. It's just another sharp pain in chest. Oh, I think you should be, lie, de- lie down, Doctor. Have a yes, perhaps you're right. Evans, here, let me help you. Have a no, no, John. Susan, uh, Susan will help. John, of course, Father. Have a why don't you, gentlemen, go out on the porch? Enjoy the stir. Here, you have not had a long and tiring journey. Alice will show you the way. Alice, will you be, you'll be all right. Have a don't. Don't trouble yourself. I'll see you all in the morning. Captain, all right, Doctor. Good night, Doctor. Good night. Come, John. John, yes, Father. Finished the full bridge. Eerie and blows. Captain, well, what do you think of the old Mother Earth now, Williams? Smell the summer breeze. Look at the view. The city laid up against the sky. Williams, gradually. It was certain quality. A certain quality to Evans, merely. Well, score one point for the back to earth opponents. Captain chuckles. Williams, I didn't say that. Can you begin to feel it, though? Williams, I can tell. Williams, if you don't mind, gentlemen, I'm quite tired. Moving off. I think I'll turn in. Excuse me. Williams steps at the front door, which opens and shuts as he exits. Evans, well, Captain? Captain, well, what? Evans, what do you think, mate? Of all this, and Captain, I don't know what you mean. Evans, this Hathaway and his family, there's something strange and natural going on here. I can sense it. 
Captain, I think you're reading things into it, um, Evans. Evans, oh, perhaps well. I'll turn in too. Are you coming? Captain, in a moment. In a moment. I want to smoke a cigarette. It drew in. Evans steps steps to the front door, which opens and shuts as he exits. And uh, it's beautiful views. Captain sort of what? Alice, is, is it not? Captain exhales uneasily. I didn't hear you. Come out. Who is he? How is he? Alice, resting. I never seen him. I never seen him to his bed. Captain, uh, yes. He's an old man, exhales apologetically. I'm oh, sorry, but the difference in all your age is apparent. You must have been married very young. Alice, my husband is a very great man, Captain. It's too bad there's no time one to appreciate him. Once he wired a whole city with sound figures, and when he breached the button, the whole town lit up with noises, as if 10,000 people were living in it. Captain, he must have been very lonesome to people. Although with a woman such as you, I don't understand. Alice, perhaps one day you will understand. Warmly, good night, Captain. Captain, good night, Miss Hathaway. Ticking of clock. Ca- Evans, Captain. Captain Parsons, wait. Captain, wait, sir. Who's there? Evans, it's Dr. Evans. Captain, what time is it? 2 a.m. Captain, what's wrong? Evans, I couldn't sleep. A few minutes ago, I heard someone step out. Front door, in the moonlight. I saw it was the old man. He was headed towards our ship. Captain, what are you suggesting, Evans? Evans, nothing except it's a it's a fairly unnatural for an old man, bad heart, to go to go on wandering in t- at two in the morning. Can all very well? We'll follow him. Footsteps through bush, eerie wind blows. Can you sure see him yet? Evans, no. Kept looking ahead there, on the hillside. Isn't it? Have we kneeling in the moonlight? Evans, yes, I think so. Can we get closer, Captain? Let's head. For that clump of bushes, footsteps, a clump of bushes, and stop. Captain, this is far enough. Evans, what do you suppose he's doing there? What are those things on the ground? Halfway from him, off, imperceptible, little murmuring a prayer. Captain, good lord, those are grave markers, four of them. Evans, you're right, seem to be praying over them. Captain, listen. Halfway, it's like your anxious. Do do you forgive me for what I've done? I had to do it. I was so lonely. I was just terribly lonely. You didn't mind too much. You, you do, do forgive me, don't you? Yes, I feel you do. I'm glad, growing weaker. I think perhaps I can rest now. I think I... Groans in pain, continues behind, Captain. To Evans. No, he's having, no, he's having another attack. Come on. Hurried footsteps through the brush to Hathaway. Captain Hathaway, Dr. Hathaway. Can you, can you hear me? Raise your head, Evans. Evans, his lips are moving. Captain Hathaway, what is it, Doctor? Hathaway, the closer, the closer, the closer. I was sorry I had a spoil with this. I have expected it for some time. Can you? Yes, we'll fix you up. Hathaway, no. No, I'm excellent. Don't, no, don't, no, no, this is the end for me. It really doesn't matter except for them. Kenny, what about them, Hathaway? Hathaway, you su- suspected, didn't you? Kenny, yes, I suspected, but I couldn't believe it until now. Do they know? Hathaway, no, they wouldn't understand. I wouldn't want them to know. Ever. Weekly, the earth, the earth. Kenny, don't try to talk. Hathaway, with dying words. The earth is so fair. Captain Doctor, his cells in dying breath. Body slumps. Kevin's, he died. He dead, Captain. It was the end of his time. Yes, he knew. Evans, what was it he meant about you respect, suspecting? Kevin, light the match, Evans. Look on those four screen markers and tell me what you see. Strike strikes. Evans, beat stunned. Good Lord, well. Evans reads, mystified. Alice Hathaway. Mary Hathaway. Susan Hathaway. John Hathaway. Died July nineteen eighty seven. Cap to the captain, but that's about twenty years ago. If those markers are correct, then who are those others? Captain, can't you guess, Evans? Can't you guess? Bedroom door opens. Captain, Miss Hathaway, are you awake? Alice, yes, Captain. Captain, may I come in? 
Alice, yes, it's about my husband, isn't it? Captain Riddle, did you know? I saw him go out tonight. He felt near the end. Captain died in less than an hour ago. I'm sorry. Alice, thank you. Captain, how do you feel? Alice, he told us what happened one day. That he didn't, he didn't want us to cry. He didn't teach us how. You know, he said, it was the worst thing that could happen. They know how to... to be, to know how to be lonely and unhappy. What will happen to me? By right now we have, he's gone. Captain, I don't know. Alice, when will you stay with us? Captain, I would like to, but I cannot. Alice, you cannot, you know about us? Captain, yes, I know. I don't think you were, you knew, you knew, you knew yourself. Alice, the children don't. I've been aware for a long while. Captain, no one would ever guess. You're so perfect, Captain. Alice, oh, he would have liked it you to hear say that. He was very proud of us. After a while, he came to love us. And in the end, we took, he took us and his real wife and the family. Not even, for, and he even forgot sometimes, though he made us. Captain, you make, make him a great deal, you gave him a great deal of comfort. Alice, yes, over the years, he sat and talked, and we loved and talked. Much to t- we lo- he loved him so much to talk the first to know that he came the most of the children he made them um, he told us about the things he did about his own laboratory Captain surely the children must suspect Alice oh no you see they know other beings for which to compare themselves Captain exclaims he must have been a great great genius Alice every morning I look to t- he took the recording in his voice to town and put it on the tobacco f- phone, f- f- phone. Each night I would call it would call on him. I think that with, with the phone ringing, the sound of voices, the lights, he was happy. These are the only one things. One, uh, there was only one thing, one flaw. Kelly, what, what was that? Alice, he couldn't make us grow old, and so he had to match, watch himself come an old man, old man, where he stayed, where he had stayed young. Is a great blow to him. Captain, and we command his body to this man, Cornelius Hathaway, to his maker, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, return of our men. Alice, Susan, Margaretti, dreaming above the family footsteps away from the grave. Captain, Evans, Williams, stay here a moment, please. Evans, what is it? Captain, look. Let them go back to their house. I want to speak to you, Williams. I don't know what you're going to tell us, Captain. I saw the names of the grave markers. Captain Will, Williams is a mockery of blasphemy of everything we believe in. For a man to do something so evil, Captain can't uh, you imagine what it is he faced. Can't you imagine what it, is, what it must have been like to watch his wife and children die slowly of radiation burn? To know what it was, he was the last man on the face of the earth, alone, eternally, and sort of alone. Good Lord, man, what would you have done if you had these uh, medical and technical genius? I tell you, you would have come back to the laboratory just as he did, and you try to recapture all the wonderful things that you made, they have been to you, and use all the power of your memory, all the accuracy of your fingers, you try to put together bit by bit. All those things that were wife and daughters. Evans is incredible. Captain? Yes, it is. But with the entire American city on which draw for supplies and equipment, a brilliant man might accomplish anything. Even that. Williams, what are you suggesting, Captain? That we take them back? Captain, we haven't had enough space in the ship for that. Every ounce counts. Still not look to leave him here like that alone. Williams, I think, have an answer, cold blood as it may seem. Can I hurt? Williams, I just ask we turn them off. Can you? Do you think I could do that? Williams, no, but I could. After all, they aren't human. They think they're, they're worse than robots. They're ghoulish. I suggest you go back to your ship, Captain, and leave me to deal with them. Captain, I will not permit it. Williams, you have no choice in the matter, I assure you. We quick and entirely, entirely painless. 
Perez, I hate to admit it, but he's right, Captain. Kellyn, have you talked to her? She uh, has she smiled at you with that quiet, beautiful smile. Aaron's Captain, she we can't take them with us. It would be less than human to leave them here without Hathaway. They are created by him for himself. They have no other feelings, no other purpose. If we leave them, they will go on year after year, night after night, talking, laughing, being to bringing strawberry biscuits for no reason, not knowing who they are or why they exist. Captain. Could you do it, Evans? Evans, give me the bar gun, Williams. Captain, we wait for in the ship. Take off in half an hour. Evans, half an hour. Taking a spaceship clock. Williams, six twenty-five. She'll be back soon. Captain, yes. Williams is doing the only human thing, Captain. They are they are less than human. Captain, aren't they? Williams, well, it's done now, and no one will ever know. Outside door slides open. Williams, I see a lot. He's back. Out the door slides out. Evans steps in, Captain. Well? Evans, here's your gun. Captain, did you do it? Evans, when I entered the house, one of the daughters looked up at me and she smiled. The other smiled. He took them that. Took them to make him feel welcome. Him welcome. They came home at night. I knew that. And yet, well, I should have done it. There, I might have had. But she came in. Oh, why? She said something about sitting down. A cup of tea. She looked at me with those cold, fine, intelligent eyes. I couldn't do it. It would have been murder. Cold, bloody murder. Captain, I pray. You won't be able to do it. There will never be anything so fine as they are. Built to last 200 and 300, perhaps a thousand years. Well, I get set the course to inter- ter- interrogate her. Pratt Williams, we'll take off in 20 minutes. I should be back by then. Evans, we're going out, sir. Captain, I'm going to say goodbye. Captain sets away. Front door opens. Alice, you're going on back. Captain, only say goodbye. Alice, it was nice of you. Captain, I wanted you to, I wanted you to know that I'm coming back someday. Alice, when will, that, when will you come? Captain, I don't know. It may take many years to prepare fuel for the ship six. Perhaps ten years. Alice, I shall watch the sky at night, just as he watched it. Captain, I'm afraid I must go now. Alice, I understand. Be so strange. Have a new feeling, one which you did not teach us. A feeling of longing or sadness. Kaden, that one is not taught. It comes from being alive. Alice realizes, yes, I'm alive. You know, you created me. I'm a person now. Captain, slowly trembling. Farewell, Alice Hathaway. Alice, good warmly. Goodbye, John Parsons. When the time comes for man to explore the universe, to do all the strange inhabitants of another world, will there be too much? Will there be much to remember? Perhaps the most important lesson for all will seem too fundamental to be included in the training manuals. Listen at this time next week to mention it.